All right, welcome back. Let's dive into these training quests. I'm really vibing this music, by the way. Okay, let's go for basic training. Look at this, the flame of open source. What is this nonsense? Mysteries of the Pythonic Temple. Actually, I missed a conversational prompt with old mate Cedric about what even Operator, is a I am pleased to see you once again. How can I be of sir? No doubt you have many questions since arriving in the cloud. I shall endeavor to answer them as best I can. So never to mention it, what even is a Twilio? Twilio is a provider of communications APIs and infrastructure based in San Francisco, California. Twilio is the primary sponsor of the Twilio Quest program, although officially, they disavow any knowledge of our clandestine activities. <laughs> yeah, so they're the company that uh, produced this game. It is free for download off their website at twilio.com slash quest, I believe is the link. No, this isn't sponsored, but I just thought you might like to check it out. Communication APIs, you say, like what? Using Twilio APIs, your software applications can communicate over many different channels, including SMS, WhatsApp, video, voice, fax, email, and others. Twilio also provides higher level tools for use cases like contact centers, two-factor authentication, and AI bots. You can learn how to use these APIs through the training exercises in the mission computer. I have other questions about Twilio. I am happy to tell you what I know. It's kind of a goofy name. What is it? The mean? name Twilio has no other meaning. It was chosen by the founders because of its brevity and the availability of a .com domain of the same name. It was assumed that a day would come where the company would change its name. That day never arrived. Okay. There you go. So, now let's really for real start a training mission. Basic training. Equip yourself with the skills and knowledge you will need to safely explore the cloud. Your journey as an operator starts here. Launch mission. Loading new virtual environment. Operator's neural connection is stable and functioning within normal parameters. Excellent. You are ready to begin the basic training exercise. Where am I? What is this place? This is a virtual environment like many others you will explore in the cloud. It has been designed to train you in the key skills required to navigate virtual worlds. How do I complete this training exercise? To complete this training exercise, you must reach the exit area located north of our current location. The exit area is marked by a green and black metallic floor. Sounds easy. Well, what's the catch? You are most perceptive. Indeed. To reach the exit area, you will be required to bypass several security barriers. Barriers like the ones in this area are designed to simulate countermeasures deployed by the legacy systems. These villains will stop at nothing to obstruct operators deployed in the field. How do I defeat the security on these barriers? To bypass the security of barriers or containers, approach them and press the spacebar. This will launch a hacking interface that you can use to break the lock. A hack attempt usually requires completing a puzzle or a programming challenge of some kind. And what if I want to return to the Fog Owl before I'm finished? You may return to the Fog Owl at any time by walking to the entry point of an environment. These entry points are marked by a red and black metallic floor. After crossing into this area, you will be instantly transported back to the ship. Sweet. So, let's go have a look, I guess. Operator. Okay. How can I be of assistance? You cannot. Learn to use the hacking interface to bypass the security of a locked barrier. Click the button below to continue. The objective tab will describe a task you must complete in order to hack the barrier. After completing the task as described, click the hack button on the right to verify your work. In this instance, you must enter a passphrase in the text field above the hack button. And with the passphrases, click the show help button below to advance to the help tab. The help tab contains helpful hints. I should hope so. The help tab will contain more in-depth information on how to complete the hack attempt. If you're not sure how to accomplish an objective, read the help section. It will contain screenshots, sample code, links and other resources to help you accomplish your objective. 
how to complete this hack attempt. In the objective tab, it's said that you need to enter a passphrase in the text field on the right. The passphrase you would need is level up. Type in this phrase to the text field on the right, click hack. That should be how you need to complete this objective. Loot and experience points. As you complete challenges within Twilio Quest, you will earn experience points and items to equip on your avatar. Press the I key while exploring or click the backpack icon. Completing this challenge will net you 100 XP. Earning XP is the best way to improve your skills as an operator, so rack it up as much as you can. Returning to complete previous challenges. If you ever want to refresh your memory on a particular task after completing it, simply walk up to the barrier or chest you already cleared and press the spacebar. This will bring up the tutorial and hacking interface for the given obstacle. You can complete the challenges as many times as you like, but you'll only receive the XP and items the first time you clear an obstacle. Speaking of returning the previous challenges, a chest further into this mission will ask you to return to this objective and copy another secret code. If you're very studious and have read all the way here on your first try, then you can save yourself a little time and copy the code below for the chest in the southwest corner of this area. If you skipped over this text the first time around, we understand, everybody does. Here is the code you need for the chest in the southwest corner of this area. Good luck, operator. So I'm going to copy that, type in this password. Well done. You may now pass through this barrier and continue toward the exit. You have also earned experience points for completing this objective. Earn as many experience points as possible to further your training as an operator. End conversation. Rank E reached, items awarded, operator boots, view in inventory, yes please. Some little booties on. Aww. Done. Okay. On your journey, you will encounter locked containers like this one. Unlocking them is not strictly necessary to make progress, but completing these challenges will award additional experience points and items. Okay, well I do want to get this trendy looking armor. Treasure chest contain extra rewards, yada yada. Do it. In the environments of the cloud will have containers like this one that can be opened using the hacking interface. While it's not strictly necessary to open them, you may want to anyway. I teach you new technical skills and will reward you with bonus equipment and XP. To open this chest, all you need to do is press the hack button. You'll receive a new item you can equip on your avatar. Dope. Oh, what are we wearing at the moment? A Twilio t-shirt. This t-shirt was deployed from 2008 through late 2018 as the standard swag item. Still soft as ever. Standard issue armor provides basic protection. And looks stylish. Yeah, red. Way better than orange. Okay, let us continue. The hacking tool provides an integrated code editor and example JavaScript code for some challenges. Please note that this is only provided as a convenience. You may use the programming tools and language of your choice to complete any challenge, unless otherwise instructed. Beautiful. Ooh, some sweet beans are available. Use our built-in code editor to complete programming challenges in JavaScript using Node.js. Try out the code editor in this challenge. Some challenges have provided example code for you to run and usually edit in order to complete a given task. When sample code is available, you will see the Show Code Editor button appear below the lock status in the hacking interface. Click this button to open the Integrated Code Editor. Code Editor provides a very simple interface to execute JavaScript code. The code will be executed on your computer using a Node.js runtime. While the editor is not intended to be a full-fledged IDE, it may be useful to try out new concepts or experiment with JavaScript. I have no idea what any of this means. But I program and insert my favourite language here. That's okay, most code challenges in Twilio Quest can be completed without the code editor. You're encouraged to write code using the programming language and tools you are most comfortable with. 
For example, this challenge could be completed using any server-side programming language. For validation, you would just need to provide a URL to your application. Using the code editor. As only a few controls, here's what they do. Run the code in the editor, delete your changes and revert to the default example code. Close the editor and return to the tutorial. The code will keep running. Okay. I'm not going to bother going through these at the moment. Completing the task at hand. To clear this barrier, you've been asked to create a simple web application and provide a URL for that app web application that Twilio Quest can validate. The fastest way to complete this challenge is to use the example node.js code that is provided in the code editor. The example code creates a simple HTTP server that satisfies the requirements of this challenge. No need to copy paste the above, this code will already be loaded up in the editor. Press the play button to run this HTTP server on this thing. Go ahead and view your application in the web browser. Why not? Let's take a peek. I mean, I hope you guys can see this. The site can't be reached. Beautiful. Just your own code. Thank you. Finishing the app. However you choose to work, just take a URL that produces a response containing the text Hello World and paste it in the text field on the right. Click the hack button Twilio Quest will send an HTTP GET request to this URL to ensure that it meets the requirements of this challenge. In this case, the URL must return a response body that contains the text Hello World. If your URL does the task as described, you will be victorious. Not sure what this code does, I am not. Don't worry about it for now. Hit the play button for later execute it. It will start a tiny web application running on your computer that you can use to complete this challenge. The app will run until you execute another program in the IDE or quit Twilio first. Copy this in. Congratulations on clearing this barrier. Ahead, you will notice different paths to choose from. If you intend to use Twilio APIs during your training, you will need to clear at least the first two barriers on the path to your right. Continue straight on for the final steps of your basic operator training. Thanks Cedars. Got some sweet graves. Oh, but I've already got legsies on. What do they do? Blue jeans. Eh. What do these guys do? Environmental hazard protection. Alright. Dope little jumpsuit going on. Dunskies. Ooh, what do these tiles do? We will find out in the next video.